Hello and welcome along to my channel. My name is Zaren and I'm from Stopped Clock Imaging. Um, this is going to be my first ever unboxing slash review of some new time lapse equipment I've just received. Um, the UPS man has literally just been and has delivered me this nice big parcel. Uh, weighs 12 pounds, so fairly substantial. And this is from the guys over at Dynamic Perception. They're a really good company based in the US, specialising in time lapse motion control equipment. Um, really good company. Uh, I've used their kit before, so I'm really excited to get this box open and see what's in it. Packaging. Some packaging. Uh, invoice. Various pieces of uh, Velcro for something. Uh, we'll work out what that's for later. Nice sticker. So this is the NMX controller itself, this is the brains, so this is actually going to control what everything does. Wow, it's quite small actually, smaller than I was expecting. Nice, compact. Um, so here are your two camera ports, USB, and then you've got your three motor ports there. Um, seems well built, nice. Okay, that's that. This must be the battery. So it's the portable power lithium ion battery. Again, very nicely packaged. Standard sort of battery pack, nothing really exciting there. Again, nicely packaged, good boxing. Okay, it's the motors, so these are the stepper motors, and they're digital stepper motors. I've only got the two, but I've, I've got a motor already for power in my side. I'll go into that in another video. Uh, and these are the stepper motors, 19 to 1. I've already got the quick snap bracket on there, which is nice. And the cables to connect to the NMX controller. All looks good. Nice braided wires. Okay, what's next? That's the camera cable. I've already got one of those, so it's good to have a spare. For my Nikon, that is. Yeah, DC2. Yeah. Okay, what's this? Some brackets, I think. Mounting brackets, plates. Yeah. This is for uh, connecting your two motion control pivots, stage R's together. Nicely, nicely made. Good solid bit of kit. Not too heavy though. Lots and lots of screws. And they even supplied a little Allen wrench as well, which is a good touch. Um, is it that one? So lots of boxes. Okay, what's this one? And that's the L brackets. Yeah, that's for mounting to the camera, sorry, the camera to the stage R. A um, couple of mounting fixings, really nice. Look at this machined aluminium, it's beautiful. Lovely, very nice, very nice. Uh, Arca Swiss plate for the camera. Oh, another tool as well, Allen wrench. Good 
good, good. And finally, the star of the show, the stage R itself. Let's get into this. Strange box. Okay, this way then. Let's get this out of the way. There it is. Look at that. Beautiful. Machined aluminium. Really nice. This little bubble level on the top. Oh, looks so solid. Lots of fixing points for different uh, variations. Lovely. So, got the two together. Have it. Get some screws there as well. Again, an Allen wrench supplied, which is nice. So not everyone has them. two stage jars. Just quickly pop the motors in so you can see what it can look like. So these are the quick snap motors, they literally just pop straight in there. One goes in there. And you can put it in either way, that way or this way, so depending on how you've got it set up. They just snap in like that, easy peasy. Look at that, beautiful. Um, first impressions are well, it's just beautifully made. Look at it, it's absolutely a thing of beauty. It's solid but not too heavy. I'd say the motor actually weighs more than the stage. I well, it's fairly even, but you know, it looks solid, it is solid, it feels really well made, beautifully machined, aluminium. That's just going to last a lifetime. And um, I do put my kit through a lot of abuse, so that's one of the reasons I bought it, um, because I'm not afraid of uh, breaking things. This is gonna, this is gonna withstand a lot of abuse, and I can take this to some um, harsh locations, and I'm not gonna be worried that it's just gonna break down. Um, and yeah, so far this looks pretty amazing. Um, okay, that's it really. First sort of unboxing, initial impressions. Um, I'm sure I'll have a review, a full in-depth review coming up shortly once I've got to grips with it. I might have an assembly video as well, just popping it all together. And then I'll show you it all set up. Okay, well uh, that was it. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.